Why, hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And Chantal decided to upload another video about her going to lunch and therapy, which is something I wish that she would kind of deal with off camera, but it's Chantal. I'm not sure why I'm surprised, but at the same time, it's never a dull moment around here on the internet. Let me tell you what. And with that being said, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> so I did hear a lot of this is actually a kind of like filler content. So let's see what she has to say whenever she's actually on camera. Hey guys, welcome back to another Canada vlog. So I'm here picking up uh, my aunt so that we can have a day together. Um, we're going to go have lunch and do some errands, some shopping. And then I have a therapy appointment in the afternoon. So yeah, it's going to be a full day for me. It is quite rainy, which is kind of disappointing because we wanted to go on a nature walk. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but. I know she's thinking like, thank God. Oh my God, thank you so much for making it rain so that way I don't have to get out because I'm also like that. I'm like, oh no, we were gonna go out, but like it's rainy, oh darn it. Oh no, whatever shall we do? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So come along with me again today in this vlog. Yes, let's go, yalla. So. Another birthday gift. I got a pink Yeti. So yeah, cause I like Yeti and I used to have a blue one. That was a gift also <laughs> from a Beezer. And uh, yeah, I love this color, so. I mean, I prefer Stanley cups personally, but also that's kind of like the shade of my Stanley cup, which rude. Keeps my water cold when I'm out driving around the whole time. By the way, I can easily get an international driver's license or driver's license over there in Kuwait, but it's not the same as so she illegally drove then interesting because she hands. didn't put oops sorry but she did post a video of her driving over in kuwait already though so mm hmm very interesting so um no i don't really enjoy driving over there you know so um i'm gonna be a passenger princess when i'm there so yeah <laughs> hi guys so we are eating at a vegetarian restaurant today it is actually quite a delicious place I've eaten here before. Here is a glimpse at their menu or part of it. They give you a pitcher of nice cold water to drink while you are there. I like the sweater, I like the hijab, but like, together actually let me go back just a little bit but like together i don't i don't like it it's like the pattern and the color just don't really complement each other that much and also like that sweater's kind of too close to her own skin color i don't know just like it's almost cute but like at the same time it's really not unfortunately sorry oh it's a cute painting behind them Ooh, i will say that this place does know how to decorate Okay, I don't know where this is, but like I kind of want to go just because like the the decor is so pretty. Like, come on, like look at that. That's so. I don't know, like me. Like this is how I would decorate, especially. So my aunt wanted to show that she had the soup of the day, which was tomato and lentil, and she had a falafel sandwich on gluten free bread. She loves it, and I had a pad thai though it's not like traditional pad thai but it's like noodles with like a peanut kind of sauce with vegetables which um noodles and diabetes but it's worth it was it. actually really and i also will say like this food actually does look really good, good not gonna lie i thought this display at the tattoo place next door really cool all right time for my therapy appointment i'm just waiting in the um, she has learned absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Like, why you would take a like a video of like your therapist's office? Which I do want to iterate. I do not suggest you guys going and looking for this place and leaving reviews because I know how the internet works. Okay, I, I, I'm not new, but this is so stupid on Chantal's part to include this and like film where she is because it's like people can find out what hotel that she's staying in and apartment. Does she not think that people can't find her? Uh, therapist office. Anyways, the waiting room now. Let's hey guys, yes. so I just finished oh. 
at my therapy session. Um, now, granted, when I made the appointment, I told them I was planning on making this an ongoing effort to address my mental health, you know, because I was planning on staying here. So then the main focus of this <clears throat> session, and, and the therapist was very on point, you know, just by little things I would tell her about my story, like recent story, sort of the past few years. Now, was her therapist being told like a super one-sided Chantal did absolutely nothing wrong story? Or was she telling her like the whole story? Now, that's something I would like to know, which I guess none of my business, but like it's Chantal. You, you, you kind of have to think about that because Chantal's the forever victim, even though she's the one that caused a lot of her issues and a lot, like whatever the case might be. Uh, it all comes back to Chantal, and um, I really hope that Chantal actually took the time to talk and, like, I don't know, dissected it in a way to where she's not the perpetual victim in every single situation. She talked about grief, you know, grieving things that I still haven't really grieved. You know, parts of me who I was, not necessarily a bad thing grieving, but sometimes when there's change, whether it's good or bad, you grieve parts of things that are changing. But it was nice to have my feelings validated, especially since I don't know anybody really who understands me wanting to go back to Kuwait. But this therapist did. And she gave me a lot of reasons why I would want to go back there based on what I told her. And my feelings were validated. And they also came up with a lot of resources for me to have access to healthcare um, remotely. Um, there's some binge eating uh, program resources, addiction services, and the mental adult mental health program which is like covered by OHIP it's like a year and a half wait so for like one-on-one -on -one counseling so we'll just see um I have some resources they also suggested help me pick out resources in Kuwait so the focus is to also have access to some resources there which there are community centers but they're Islamic which I will say, like, you know, good for her for actually, like, doing the thing finally after, like, 40 years or so, 35, 20, like, whatever the case might be. But, like, also, um, it's sticking to them and being truthful and wanting to actually get better is, like, the main focus point of, to what I'm trying to say here. Just, like, do it, sure, but, like, do it right and don't just skim over it and, like, pretend that everything's fine and, you know, just get better. You know, so... They made a good point that a lot of it's probably going to be through a religious perspective, which makes sense. And, you know, being a revert, you know, they suggested finding other revert expat groups that might be support. So they also started, I told them, you know, socializing. I isolate a lot because socializing, getting out there is kind of overwhelming when I'm feeling, you know, down. So they suggested just going out in public without socializing. So just going out more. So there's things I have that I have to work on, but I feel more confident having gone through this session. It's definitely not a waste of time. And they're one phone call away if I ever need another one whenever I need it. So, yeah, that's my therapy update. It's actually super nice out here. It's rainy, gloomy, but I love it. I love getting fresh air. It looks like Silent Hill, which is beautiful, but, like, I'm still emotionally getting over Silent Hill, too. <sighs> and the only reason why she's doing this is because um, her video did not get past eight minutes. So... Hence why she's doing this random throwback Thursday. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to end it here because this is just a video of her whenever she first went to Kuwait for the first time. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys whenever she posts next. Bye.